I am about to say something that might be controversial, might be confusing to some of you, and might be counterintuitive. But it's easier to shoot people when you have your gun loaded. Now, I know that might sound like a lot, but it can fly over people's heads. And a lot of the time, managing ammo is a really big deal and something that you need to consider, even though your guns just reload automatically in this game. Uh, even though, you know, it, it's, it's the reloading is kind of done for you, you still need to actively think about it. This applies to every class. Not medic, because bows just reload passively, but, oh man, that old uh, crossbow is crazy. I, I bet if you dumped that in uh, modern times, people would still use it, even though everyone hated it back then and never used it. Whatever. Um, so on Scout, it's not uncommon for, you know, a really scrappy post fight. When you just need to clean up that last player, the Scout just reloads and fires their pistol instead of taking the time to reload a scattergun, which would actually clean up that player uh, rather than the less consistent pistol. Uh, for a soldier, you really like to have at least one rocket loaded if you can afford it, uh, with which you can jump away to safety if you get shoved suddenly, and a soldier with zero rockets loaded is just a massive uh, sitting duck. And, you know, you want to manage how many rockets you have for a bomb and, and you know, understand how, how many rockets you can fire during a sack, for instance. But I think the most pronounced class is demo, as far as ammo management goes. And that's what I want to focus on today. So there's a couple reasons why ammo management is such a big deal for demo. For starters, demo has more ammo, right? Um, Scout has a pistol mag, which just reloads all at once, and six scattergun shots. Soldier just has four rockets. And Demo has four pipes and eight stickies, you know, the class with 12 projectiles. Everyone talks about the 12 projectiles. So you have a lot more ammo to manage. But on top of that, um, Demo, his primary means of dealing mid-range damage during team fights is with charge stickies. And charging a sticky takes time, and during that time, you can't reload. So not only is it easy for you to constantly be just spewing out ammo because you have so much ammo and 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 any in any given fight, uh, there's you know multiple targets that you'd want to be shooting at, and oftentimes you kind of have to make trade-offs about how who you shoot at um, and kind of prioritize you know positioning or vulnerability of of the classes. Um, to decide what to shoot at. Maybe target selection will be its own video. Um, but even when you aren't just spewing ammo out and you're, you know, trying to focus on some damage on someone, you're still not reloading during that because you're often charging your sticky. So as a demo, you need to really consciously choose the time to reload. And that's an important skill. For a couple of reasons. So for starters, like having ammo is just really important for when when it hits the fan, you know? When everything starts going really poorly. Or not even necessarily starts going poorly, but just when you need to deal damage on a team that's trying to double bomb and walk at you. Um, when you really need to just annihilate, you know, a group of players that are trying to get through a choke or something. Um, just when you need that, there you will need the ammo more sometimes than others, and you really want to have that ammo for when you really need it. Uh, is kind of just the 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 whole thing. So having ammo loaded in the moments that really matter is is an important skill, and it takes some experience to kind of you know anticipate that. Um, but a good rule of thumb is literally just have some amount of ammo loaded. Because it's really easy to be in just a, a long team fight where things are, are winding down a bit or something and you're just playing from one projectile to the next. And in fact, among newer demos, the, the biggest thing is actually uh, 
when they just use all their stickies and then start shooting all their pipes and then they're just stuck in the cycle of just reloading and shooting that next pipe rather than actually taking the time to reload stickies rather than actually taking the time to reload and be effective they're just playing for that next pipe and when a demo is literally just playing to reload and shoot their next projectile and not really thinking any further ahead than that i just i just coin that as like paycheck to paycheck demo which i really don't like seeing if you hit everything it's fine because you know you do so much damage but if you don't then you are absolutely useless and it's better to be useless for you know a few seconds you can reload a couple stickies in a pipe or something and then be useful rather than just be useless the whole time right so actually thinking ahead and actually planning not even necessarily planning, just, you know, preparing for the winter, basically. Just setting up your resources for when you need them is important to, to do. So, yeah, that's why it's important. Um, now, when it comes to actually doing it, it really is just a matter of slowing down and reloading. Um, and there are a few ways you can go about this. So I've noticed actually, I tend to reload one weapon at a time, um, which is maybe a bad thing. Like I tend to reload all my pipes if I have my pipes out and then switch to my stickies. Something I've noticed uh, Habib doing actually, and I haven't really been paying too much attention to uh, to other demo players since then. But uh, something he would do is actually reload like a couple of pipes and then reload some stickies. Basically switching between the weapons for reloading so that you have some of each projectile. Because of course, as I mentioned in a, a recent video, demo is most effective when using both weapons together, right? So having ammo in both is, is a pretty useful asset. You can still sticky pipe people. Um, you can still trap stuff out. You can still pipe spam. Um, and you can do all the things that you need to do just for a little bit shorter because you don't have the full clip in both, right? But, uh, yeah, managing ammo in that sense and, you know, reloading both weapons, making sure they both have ammo is important. And also, um, reloading before you necessarily need to. And what I mean by this is focusing on staying over a certain threshold. So maybe it's a mid fight. Maybe it's uh, snake water mid, which is the classic example of reloading during a mid fight. Because a snake water mid can last really, really long if neither team is committed to a bomb. And it's really easy to just run out of ammo. You're going to run out of ammo. Uh, you're going to shoot more than eight stickies on a long snake water mid fight. Because your primary means of damage for a mid that's pretty large like snake water is going to be charged stickies. And if it goes on long, you're going to be shooting way more than eight sticks. Um, so one decent tool for managing your ammo is in staying over a certain threshold. So say you just want to always have at least five stickies for if the other team just randomly decides to commit, you want to have plenty of ammo to deal with that. And that's pretty simple. You know, you start shooting uh, some ammo. And, oh, I'm getting a bit low. Let's just not shoot that next stick or not start charging that next stick until I reload too, right? And it doesn't take that long in the moment. Um, another thing is kind of identifying, and this is what I do mostly, is just try and suss out the downtime in fights. Because fights always have sort of, not an ebb and a flow, because that makes it sound kind of cyclical when it can be more chaotic than that. Um, but a team fight definitely has the high points and the low points. Where, you know, there isn't a steady stream of damage. There isn't necessarily like a... There's just not a steady stream of damage. So there's going to be some points where you can find time to reload and your damage is less useful than it would be in one of the more critical moments of the fight, right? So if everyone's pretty passive, um, no one's on high ground, uh, stuff like that, you know, it's a decent time, it's a decent lull in the fight to reload a bunch. Now, yeah, that's, that's really, really all that it's about is having, taking the time when it doesn't matter as much to have ammo for when it does matter. That's really the whole point in, you know, managing ammo like that. That That is the best way to be the most effective at 
any class, but in particular demo. Um, there was something else I thought that I maybe have forgotten now. Yeah, managing ammo is a big deal. You want to have your stuff loaded. Uh, maybe I... I think I lost it. There was definitely something else, but I have since forgotten. So, I've probably wrapped up my thoughts on the topic. Uh, just reload. Reloading's important. Don't play paycheck to paycheck demo. Um, you're going to be way more effective when you can actually have ammo to take proper fights with. And, you know, think a little bit more ahead than just where your next shot is going. Uh, anyway, hope that was uh, informative. This is a topic that gets talked about more uh, for demos than, than some of the other stuff I talk about. Um, but I figure I'd kind of dive into it anyway. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and see you next time.